My name is Matthew Simone. I'm the head interpreter at the H.R. McMillan Space Center. We're at the observatory of the H.R. McMillan Space Center called the Gordon Seldman Observatory. And on Monday, we're going to be viewing a total solar eclipse. So on Monday, the moon is passing in front of the sun. And from some vantage points on the Earth's surface, you'll actually be able to stand in the shadow of the moon mainly in eastern Canada. So in our part of the country, we're not going to get that full totality effect where we're standing in the moon's shadow. We're going to get 17% coverage, but we're inviting people to come out on Monday. We're going to be starting uh, earlier, but around 11 o'clock, the moon will begin to uh, cover the sun and we'll be able to see kind of like a chunk taken out of the sun. It's going to look kind of like Pac-Man floating up in the sky. So for people that are coming out here, we've got solar eclipse glasses that'll protect your eyes from being able to look at the sun so you can actually see the moon passing in front. Uh, we'll be mainly outside right in front of the planet I'm all kind of looking up. We're hoping for good weather. If it's cloudy, we're also going to be streaming the live view from the NASA feed, where they are going to be standing in the path of totality to be able to see the moon entirely eclipse the sun. So in here, depending on what's going on that day and if we have clear weather, we might have our telescope open. Uh, we have two telescopes here. One is a reflector, one a refractor. Our tiny refracting telescope that uses lenses at the top has a special solar filter that we can put on front of the telescope so that you can actually see the sun with the eyes just like you would with solar eclipse glasses. So at any time, it's never good to look at the sun. Our sun is this giant nuclear furnace and it's giving off super bright light and ultraviolet radiation that's ultimately bad for your eyes. And so in order to see it, you do need the solar eclipse glasses because otherwise the sun is so bright, you're gonna damage your eyes and you probably won't be able to see the moon traversing it anyway. Total solar eclipses are super rare. And so if you're in the path of totality, then you know those people are gonna be able to stand in the actual shadow of the moon. And why this is wild is that we have a moon that just happens to be the same size as our sun in the sky. And that's like a complete cosmic coincidence. Our moon is way smaller than the sun, but it's close enough, it's such an exacting way that it covers the sun perfectly in the sky. So if you ever do have the opportunity to travel somewhere on the earth where you can stand in the moon's shadow and see the atmosphere of the sun, the sun's corona with the naked eye, not only is it a rare event for our planet, it might actually be like a rare event in the universe. We don't know how many places have a moon that perfectly covers their sun like ours does. So, you know, I sometimes get asked like, do aliens visit Earth? We don't have any evidence of that. But if they did, I would argue they would be as tourists to go see a total solar eclipse. So from here, we're not gonna get totality, but if in your lifetime you get a chance to go, absolutely you should do it.